What is up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, we'll be going over what I consider to be a pro tip inside of Premiere Pro. Pro tip inside of Premiere Pro. Okay, that kind of works, I guess. So, we all know the importance of B-roll. Filming B-roll at 60 frames per second, throwing it into Premiere Pro, slowing it down to 50% to get that nice smooth slow motion. But if I film 100 clips at 60 frames per second, how can I take them all at once and turn them all into slow motion to use in my video instead of right click, speed and duration, slow motion, right click, speed and duration, turn 50%, slow motion, stuff like that. I don't want to keep doing it over and over again. I want to make it really fast and easy and quick. So that's what we're going to do today. So without further ado, let's jump over to Premiere Pro and show this in practice within the software. Okay, let's go. So now that we're in Premiere Pro, you can see that I have a little bin folder here with 60 frames per second. There's a bunch of footage inside of this that's all 60 frames per second. Now, if you don't see the frame rate thing right here with all the 60 FPS, super easy to show that. And this little bar right here inside of Premiere Pro, you're gonna right click and click metadata display. And right here is where you can type in frame rate and uh, it'll show the little checkbox to turn on your frame rate. Click OK, turns it on, now you can see it. It might show up at the very end of this where you gotta like drag it to all, you gotta drag it all the way to the side here, but that's how you show the frame rate display inside of your project bin. So, um, we can see that I have some footage here and it is this C line at the zoo and it's 60 frames per second, runs really smooth on the computer, looks really nice. And typically we'll right click, speed and duration, and turn the speed down to 50%, makes it double the length, but it's in slow motion, which is fine and dandy. If you wanna do it that way, do it, no big deal, but like I said before, I wanna make all this footage slow motion at once. How do we do that? All right, so let's turn this footage back to normal, speed and duration, 100%. Okay, back to the normal speed. Now, I have all my footage in a bin folder right here. It's all labeled 60 frames per second, but for the B-roll purposes of my footage, I wanna have a 60 frames per second bin and a half speed bin, which is the 60 frames per second footage slowed down to give me more options at the end of the day. You, can do, you don't have to do this, but this is what I would do personally for all my films. So. We have 60 frames per second. What I'm gonna do is copy and paste this bin. So control or command C on your keyboard and then control or command V on your keyboard to paste it in. Boom, now we have two 60 frames per second bins with the same footage in each. So I'm gonna rename this, click it to rename. Let's do 60, 50%. All this footage has been down to 50% or 50%-ish, slowish. What we're gonna do is drop down on this bin or just double click it to open it up. Pops open a new bin, tag it here, and then we have all of our footage. Then we will highlight all of our footage, highlight it, right click and then do modify, interpret footage, opens up a new dialog box, which is use frame rate from the file, 60 frames per second, or we can assume this frame rate is, let's say 29.97 frames per second, which is going to turn all of our footage into half speed footage. So, if we find our original footage that we used before, which is the P1011012, which should be right here, we can drag it into this pre-comp before. It's the exact same footage, but it's double the length. So we have the slow motion version, and we have the regular version. Now, the reason we have two different versions is because I copied and pasted the 60 frames per second bin and the 50% bin. So now there's two different versions. Now, if you want, you can interpret all of your 60 frames per second into slow motion and you don't have to use it as at the regular speed, but I like doing it this way because it gives me more options when I'm editing my B-roll stuff for all of my footage, like equipment reviews, stuff like that. It really works out. But hey, this is how you turn all of your footage at once into slow motion footage. You can do this for a number of different pieces of footage if you film 180 frames per second, 120 frames per second. I could slow this down to 23.976. It'd be a little slower, but half speed is totally fine. And it looks really good. So I can take an entire session of B-roll that's filmed at 60 frames per second, slow it all down to half speed and use it for my videos. I could repeat myself all day. That's kind of what I'm doing. But that about wraps it up for this video. As always, I am Max. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being a part of the channel. I hope this pro tip really helped you out today. I use it all the time, but it's a pretty good thing. So feel free to leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Is this a method you'll use in your videos, your day-to-day -day editing? Let me know down below. I'm pretty good at responding, so I'll do my best. Other than that, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.